esoosmic membrane. Esoosmic membrane is a unique non-material structure. It represents the size of spatial cube of the esoosmic cell. As we have already said, there are six esosmic membranes in each esosmic cell. The main action, which gives life to all the material system, the process of esosmos, happens through the esosmic membrane, its center. It is characterized by so-called paradox of dimensions. In three-dimensional world, the esosmic membrane has practically no thickness, but at the same time it really exists and its inside space is infinite. In ancient texts and legends, there was different information about the unexplainable inner space of the isosmic membrane, that limitless, eternal space from which the creative force and the initial plan come were called the spiritual world, the world where gods are born primordial, eternal, what always was before the creation of this world. Between the nearby isosmic membranes located on one straight line, the absolute distance and size is always observed. If we take a close look at ancient literature, which tells about the world creation, then it is possible to find much in common among various peoples of the world. Although they were at a significant distance from each other, the role of ancestors connected with the beginning of the cosmic process was performed by a couple of gods. For example, core emptiness and Po, translated as night, darkness, that is, the invisible, or Atea, space, and Tetumu, source, islands of Polynesia in different Polynesian Theocosmogonia, Rangi, sky, and Papa, earth, Maori, the indigenous people of New Zealand. More ancient variation of the myth about the origin of the world of Maori, the indigenous people of New Zealand, tells about the couple Rangi, sky, and Papa, earth. According to the legend, Rangi and Papa had children, 70 sons and daughters, future gods of Maori. For a long time, they stayed in darkness, in cramped space between the bodies of their parents who were in a tight embrace. In the end, five of them tried to push Rangi and Papa apart, though their efforts were in vain. Then, the sixth child, Tain, straightened his mighty back and bumped his hands into Rangi sky and pushed off Papa, Earth. The sky was casted away up and fixed on four poles, Toko. In New Zealand, it was described as the riot of the gods' brothers against their parents, Rangi and Papa, and the following quarrel between brothers. Note, in the described cosmological conception, associative images were given of emptiness, the invisible pole particle, the creation of 72 dimensions was mentioned too. 70 children and two parents, the separation of six dimensions, which form the material world from 66 dimensions. The sixth dimension, the ruling part of the material world system, where every event in the visible world forms. In Polynesian cosmology, the Earth opposes both the sky consisting of many layers and the underground world associated with the darkness of Po. Moreover, the functions of the upper and the lower worlds are often mixed together. It is the most typical division in many cosmological conceptions of different nations of the world. 
where the earth denoted all the visible material world on the whole, the sky, the invisible macrocosm, divided by dimensions, layers, and the underground world, the world of the invisible processes going at the level of microcosm, that what could be divided into the smallest parts, the state of spirits. In ancient Greek literature about the creation of the world, you can find the following. The personification of the initial state of the world, before the structured universe cosmos appeared, was chaos. Though the initial word chaos has quite another meaning, different from the modern one. The word chaos derives from the ancient Greek word chaos, from kaivo, to open out, to gape, to open out mouth, to eject, Greek, shining, to gape, and had the meaning of yawning, of a gaping space, the primordial void. Under the name chaos, ancient Greeks meant unmeasurable infinite world space, the initial source of the universe, the initial source of all life in the world from which everything originated. That without which nothing else exists, and which exists without the other. That is that initial pre-cosmic state from which God created the world as ordered, harmonized cosmos. What is more, there are some mentions that entering into that gaping abyss from which everything originates was allegorically connected with going through fog and darkness. Note the analogy of the isosmic membrane. Moreover, Stoics mentioned that unlike chaos gape, chaos substance was not empty. The chaos substance, according to the Stoics, is a very diffused substance which thickens under the influence of vortex and creates the universe. One can find mentions about the great emptiness, translated by modern translators unfortunately as unordered chaos. For example, in ancient Egyptian, Japanese, Chinese, Polynesian mythologies about the creation of the world. This information can also be found in Scandinavian, American, Pre-Columbian and other mythologies of nations of the world. In many ancient manuscripts there are mentions about such concept as zero. Now, this concept exists in many languages of nations of the world from ancient times. For example, in Sanskrit, Shunya, Greek, Miden, which means nothing, zero, Latin, nullis, that means not a one. In the Yoruba language, widespread in the western part of Africa, zero sounds as odo or ofo and means emptiness, nothing, and so on. The English word zero, as well as the French word zero, Spanish zero, and similar names of zero in other languages, derives from Arabic root cipher, meaning emptiness, nothing, absence of anything. In Arabic, the word zero still has the same root. Zero was interpreted as the cause which leads to a change, that which forms substance and what can be made in continuous transformation in the process of isosmos. It was associated with the primordial emptiness, which has in it the principle of creating all things. In ancient times, in the East understanding of existence, was associated with the temporality of being and the short-time sojourn of human body in it, and the understanding of the real life was connected with the spiritual world, with the fusion of the personality with the soul, 
and passing into the spiritual world. It is not accidental that zero was depicted as an empty circle, thus indicating that there is no death but absolute life inside the circle. Although this is not the only one depiction of zero, for example, in Mesoamerica, the people of the Mayan civilization more often drew zero as an empty shell, although there are also 25 more hieroglyphs which denote the concept of zero, one of which two spirals similar to the Russian letter Z. The Maya called zero Tulakal and the Aztec simply everything. In Asia, the most popular image of zero, apart from circle, was a dot. For example, in Arabic protoscript, one can find the diacritic mark sukun, silence, calmness, which looks like a small zero. In religious and philosophical teaching of ancient India, Tantrism from Sanskrit Tantra system, braid, yarn, spinning wheel, cloth, text, and so on. There is the Bindu sign, literally dot. This concept is interpreted as spot, grain, source, basis. In Sufism, dot in Arabic, nusk, plays an important role in handing down the teaching as the inner knowledge. Primordial Alatra Physics